We get to tell them. Let's do it. Hey, 2K fans, my name is Alexis Morgan. And I'm Chris Manning. Welcome to the NBA 2K20 demo. We're from 2K TV, and we just want to take a brief moment to share with all of you how excited we are about NBA 2K20's My Career Mode. Once again, 2K has managed to further blur the line between game and reality with the most authentic and engaging experience to date. Building your legacy begins with building your my player. You're totally right, and that's why this year, the first thing you'll do is set your potential using the brand new My Player Builder. I have already spent hours experimenting on different builds. The builder basically lets you create your own archetype from scratch. Absolutely, we've given you the tools to build your My Player however you want. I even got to choose my own takeover. The demo gives you the power to create up to six unique builds and test each of them completely upgraded in a full NBA game. And of course, any My Player builds that you create will be waiting for you as soon as you launch NBA 2K20. So from all of us here at 2K Sports and 2K TV, we hope you enjoy NBA 2K20 as much as we do. Yo, what is going on, buddy? It's Fish Mazoos here, back with our video guys with an NBA 2K20 demo video. And today we're doing the face creation and trying to figure out what build we're going to be doing in 2K20. Now, a couple quick notes here in this beginning part. I'm just going through everything that I did so that way in case like I lose my face creation or you know it gets jacked up when I make a new player or something like that. So uh, I made it basically the exact same as 2K19. Uh, I did actually tweak some things up a little bit. I did not. I didn't customize anything. Like the, I just picked the ears and stuff. You know, whatever. Maybe I just picked a different one. I didn't, I didn't really edit it except for the hair. I did change that a little bit along with the uh, you know the facial hair. But other than that, yes. Yeah. So the 2K20 demo, absolute L in my opinion, and I think pretty much most people's opinions. And uh, skin tone six as well, by the way. So yeah, they have preset builds. But once you go to that preset build, you're, you're literally just done. You, you cannot choose anything else. I tried that out. Uh, wasted a game on that. I, I didn't even try, I didn't even realize this in the beginning. I'm like, where's the My Career stuff? So I quit out of the game in this with this first player. I'm like, yo, let me go get to the My Career stuff. I see Chris move up, upload gameplay. I'm like, yo. And then I'm like, oh. I mean, it makes sense. They call demo, not the prelude no more. But, yeah. So you get these pie charts. And to be honest with you, you're, you're basically picking archetypes. And it's literally without a name, so you have no idea what it really is. That looks like a what is this? Um, you know, you can kind of tell what they are, but apparently, apparently, there's there's supposed to be more pie charts in the actual game. So this is literally just like a demo where it's like half of the game. I mean, not even half of the game, but you understand what I'm saying? Like in, in the builder, anyway, it's like half of that. You can kind of get a feel for it. They just kind of get you all excited about it, but then you know you realize, oh. You know, you, you can't really do a whole lot besides these, you know, limited pie charts. And now, now they're not called pie, and they're not going to call archetypes. They're just called pie charts now. So, your player is no longer built of archetypes. He's now built of pie charts. So, yeah. Um, that, I was looking, because I'm thinking, yo, they say they got over a thousand options or something like that. Over 50-some archetypes. I don't know what they were saying. You know, acting all 2K, trying to get everybody hype and stuff like that. And I'm like, yo, can I actually build my um you know a player where that he can kind of dunk kind of like my 2k17 playmaker where i could actually do like 360s and stuff that's all i want to be able to do is do cool dunks get you know a fair amount of contact dunks shoot the three with these you know decently and um you know be be fast be able to do uh, momentum and speed boost and all that stuff that's all i really want so and i know that's I'm not asking for you know, I'm asking for a decent amount. I also want to be decent on defense. Now, I'm not asking for a 93-point shot and a 90 driving dunk. I'm asking for maybe a little bit less than that. But, you know, people are now saying custom pie charts. And I really hope that does come to get 20 I doubt that happens. Uh, I would not be too, too surprised if they do add more. Because, you know, 2K, they're always holding stuff back. But, you know, I, it's very possible this could this could all there be. Um, all, this is all there. Yeah, that is all there could be. So, uh, yeah, I went six four with on this first player. I got eighty driving dunk, and I got about. You'll see after you make the wingspan a little bit smaller, uh, you can get around seventy eight three. So I went. I went with ninety two speed. Now the physicals can also determine some of those attributes as well. So I mean, yeah, there are some more options in terms of that those physical things that you can max out at. So. 
yeah i mean if you, if you guys didn't if you guys don't understand how this stuff all works uh go check out the my career trailer it actually explains it all it's the second one is you know a couple videos go on my channel now choosing the takeover is pretty cool but i went with the playmaker i think that's the best one because they did nerf the slasher one and you know i, I was gonna test it in this but i was kind of having some problems because i don't know the player was not the best uh so maybe playmaking slasher similar to Derrick Rose. I'm like yo Derrick Rose, that sounds good to me um, also, you can choose your badges and stuff, and you know which ones you want, which is pretty cool. I definitely like that. Now, the thing I don't like is I was only able to get one defensive badge with this first build I made. Now, the second one is probably going to be closer to my actual build in 2K20. This is not going to be like the first micro episode because since there's no you know actual prelude stuff, there's nothing like that. I'm just going to mess around on the build, and that's probably what this title is going to be at this video. So, I put on Hall of Fame ankle breaker stuff like that, and yeah, I got a couple highlights for this player, and then. I just quit out of the game. I'm like, yo, let me go get to the prelude part, you know? But yeah, <laughs> that, didn't, that didn't quite work. So, handle for days. There's just so many badges now. Uh, I don't think there's enough potential upgrades. Like, I mean, I don't know. You have to be smart with it. And I do believe you can kind of change it, like, as you're going along. So, I, at least that's my understanding. I could be wrong on that. But um, yeah, it is pretty cool how you can do that and choose stuff. Now, like I said, the defensive side, you literally get one badge for this build, which is, <laughs> I was not too happy about that. Uh, you know, all I, I did, is, I just did clamps. I mean, I don't know what else to do. So, like your player on defense, he has 75 perimeter defense, something like that. But all you can do is get clamps. I mean, that, that, for the badges part, I mean, you should get a few more badges in that. Just because he's a good offensive player does not mean it's gonna be absolutely terrible on defense. So I think that needs to be balanced out a little bit more. Uh, we'll see how it actually all works in the actual game and if they add more pie charts. Now, of course, all the 2K YouTubers are like, oh, new demigods, all this stuff. Well, in my opinion, you're not creating a whole lot of demigods uh, with these pie charts, at least from what I'm seeing, uh, at least from what I experienced. I, didn't, I haven't really watched people's videos and stuff like that. Um, you know, they might just overhype stuff. I don't know. I haven't really looked in, you know, watch people's stuff. I just try to figure this stuff out on my own for the most part. Um, however, I do look at other people's stuff, you know, kind of see what's going on. And it was kind of cool. They could let you pick jump shots. So of course, I went Paul and George. This jump shot that's automatic greens for me. I don't know why. It's just a good jump shot for me. Now, of course, we're stuck playing uh, as the two guard on the Raptors. And yeah, so blow by animations are OP in the demo. And uh, yeah, Mike Wang says, not like that in the real game. So basically, this demo is literally like. I don't even it's it's just a fake version of 2k if we're if we're being honest here you, the builds and stuff is not real all you get to do is play one game which is you know maybe 30 minutes of gameplay you can mess around with your build but guess what that build may not be in the actual you know real game and if it is well there's probably gonna be better builds than that now so you can see that those are the you know like two highlights so here's my new my new build now if I went 95 speed I could literally be like a pure playmaker or a pure slasher or something like that so I was trying to tone it down a little bit to maybe get some more ratings in terms of shooting and stuff so I think I did that a little bit by going 91 speed and so this is what I ended up going with I got a 70 I got that 75 3 I got 93 ball uh, handle and I got good post moves because in my career I do definitely use the post a lot so I went 6 4 again now I have heard from 2K20 leaks, different you know things I've seen on Instagram and Twitter, and leaks and uh, you know news stuff. They've said that 62 speed boosting sharps are back now from like 2K17 or something like that. So I don't know uh, you know how that works or how you know if that's true. Y'all can let me know down below in the comment section. I'm tempted to try out the slasher one. I'm like, yeah, what the heck, I'm if I'm being honest, I'm not gonna get take over. So I'm similar to Derek Rose, Russell Westbrook, and John Wall. Uh, if I saw that right, so. It's got me worried because I'm thinking, oh boy, I can't shoot, you know. Uh, you know, depending on what kind of Derrick Rose we're talking about and, um, you know, what kind of Russell Westbrook we're talking about. We're talking about MVP Russ. He was, a, he was an alright shooter, especially from the mid range. Now he's, well, at least last season, he wasn't that good of a shooter at all. But I'm hoping that against, against you know, with the Rockets this season, he's going to be he's gonna be going crazy. Headband Russ is going to dominate the league. Anyway, we got our first assist here of. Uh, the game and getting that so quick first steps is really nice so is ankle breaker I will say and look at my boy out here putting on the hop step and dunk and I'm like yo okay well, maybe this build isn't so bad and this build definitely felt faster somehow than the first one and this one had like slower attributes or something like that so I don't know it was kind of weird and I made a I think a, I, I did a preset build of a pure like uh, what was it playmaker or something or you know that's what i thought it was gonna be and it felt really slow really slow so 
you know, I mean, who really knows, honestly, with this stuff, is we get Willie Collie signing the year, trying to use that new pump fake stuff, and we're getting some good buckets here, driving into the hole, I tried shooting, and I could not get some, any shots to go, now, I did not have the shot meter the way I wanted to, I did not know some of the stuff I know now about 2K20, and I, yeah, I was trying to, I still didn't even know how to momentum at this point, and if you guys want to know how to do some different dribble tutorials, because I was, like, trying to momentum, like, last year, and in previous years, that's a tough finish right there, but... Uh, it's different. You just gotta hold R2 the entire time. And if you guys want to see like a, you know, an action me actually doing it, then there, I'm gonna be putting that video out. And I'm putting out a bunch of other, you know, sham guy tutorials, jelly tutorials, all sorts of good stuff uh, coming out on the channel. If you guys want to learn how to like never miss with any jump shot in the game, uh, I got a video coming out on that as well. Now keep in mind, of course, this is a prelude, and you can see I got takeover, but I think I lost it. So. Yeah, that was not the goodest thing. I was trying to use some of these hop steps, see what's going on, and that's Stanley Johnson in the corner, bearing in that at three. We got 23 points now, three assists, and a board. We, the the freaking um, the stamina in this game is awful. Now I know that they say you can't really use turbo, and like it's only for emergency purposes only, but that makes no sense. Why can you not run? And here's the lone three that I hit while cold, so I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. I went, I went one of six the entire game on threes. Now look at all these blow-by animations. That probably does help a little bit. I, I mean, I, I don't know, because everybody's saying blow-by animations are so OP, but because that's another and one is we're, we're losing. I was just messing around trying to drive in every time, but I kept running out of stamina, so... Yeah, that, that's pretty much the highlights for this video. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and drop a like the video, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.